Hello, this is a follow-up video about uh, Suno version 4. I go by the handle GenAI and I NZ. <clears throat> and what I wanted to do was have a conversation about uh, the version 4 release. So uh, it was obviously a significant release and uh, Suno focused on areas such as sound quality, vocal clarity, dynamic lyric models, and uh, remastering tools for older creations. Interestingly, though, <clears throat> I have version 2 instances of songs, and I couldn't remaster those in version 4. I did find you could do them as a cover in version 4, um, if anybody's playing with that and, and trying to work that out. But <clears throat> the issue we have run into is Shimmer. Um, Shimmer is an artifact in the generated audio that's causing sort of unnatural oscillations and distortions in those high frequency ranges. Um, it arises from processing limitations, probably, and the um, model overfitting is a term I've seen um, during training. Uh, and what I'm going to do very quickly is go find a song in here that I've generated. Um, and this one here starts off well. But once we get to the latter half of the song, so I think you might be able to hear in the background the shimmer scenario. And as the volume goes up in a moment, you'll start to hear it quite heavily. So it was originally people described as like a laser beam type sound. These are such adult things. So hopefully, if you're anything like me, you can hear that really heavily in the background right now. Um, and that's the distortion that is described as shimmer. So why does it happen? Um, the model training uh, was done on sort of synthetic music databases, probably lacking the um, high fidelity audio uh, in the range, um, probably an overuse of certain post processing effects as part of the model, such as reverb or harmonic enhancers. Um, and also what we've seen is that has caused the community to feedback a, a quite a negative response. And I will be honest here, my day job is working in software development. And I understand and would like to acknowledge that the Suno team is working really hard. They've created something new, being bleeding edge is always a risk. Being a customer of an organization that's doing bleeding edge is always, no, is sometimes incredibly painful and doesn't mean your frustration and annoyance uh, isn't earned. So yes, I'd love to say that everybody who releases a product should be able to um, nail something and get it perfect. But I also understand on the other side, when you're trying to do something new, um, in your testing, it doesn't mean you hit on those problems until you start doing it at volume. And, and unfortunately, that's where we are with Suno AI at the moment. So uh, out there in the community, there are people putting forward tips. So some of the tips uh, along the lines of what I mentioned earlier is if you tweak your prompts uh, and you can put in things such as tempo and vocal intensity to reduce the shimmer. Uh, and what I'll do here is just play, um, if I go into, this is a version four. Maybe this time for the first time I will get to win. So if I come to the Don't later end, which is usually where it showed up a lot. If I am good enough or not, that is for everyone else to decide. Maybe I can be fireproof. So I don't believe I'm hearing the shimmer in there, and that may be because uh, I'm in my late 40s and maybe my hearing range isn't as good as everybody else's. But uh, that tempo, the vocal intensity, that can reduce shimmer. The other thing I've seen recommended is if you um, download the stems, so the vocals and the music, sorry, what am I doing here? Um, and then put those into a third party editing tool. Uh, from what I understood, that actually did a better job at the beginning of this issue than it does now. So uh, keep that in mind, give it a try, see if that does what you're trying to achieve. Uh, but that was a recommendation for the community. 
Um, look, I'll be honest, I don't know if everybody else who's subscribed has received it, but I've received direct messages from the team at Suno. They have acknowledged the problem. They have indicated that they are working on it. They even gave out a bit of a time frame, uh, but those are interestingly hard to nail down when you're working with something new like this. Um, there is some um, potential for this tool to be amazing. But there are also other tools out there on the market. So uh, no issue if you go, this is um, not what I want, tools down, I'll head another direction. I'm probably going to try and stick with this. Hopefully uh, watch the team come through it and be part of the community that lives with Suno and sees it develop over time. Um, growing pains like Shimmer happen uh, in, in technology innovation. Um, Feel free uh, under this video or where I post this on Reddit to share your experience, and especially if you've got solutions. The best thing we can do is um, you'll see the, my thumbs up. The, the what's not showing up there is my thumbs down. When you hear that shimmer, part of a um, learning model like this is if you give it negative feedback, it will have an impact on how it develops next time. So we need to be out there as a community downvoting the shimmer um, and uh, outlaying anywhere else that we can make this change to the platform um, that could improve our experience. So keep making songs. I'm going to keep putting them out there. I might be putting out version 3.5 ones um, because for me at the moment, those are working. Let's see what happens. Version 4 does sound amazing when it works, and I want to keep growing and evolving with the platform. So Sorry you're running into Shimmer. I'm running into Shimmer also. Hopefully you have some understanding of what Shimmer is. Uh, if there's any other issues out there that I haven't discovered, let me know. Um, but good luck and keep working on it. Hope to um, see more of your music out there, guys. It's, it's really exciting for me to see what's being created out there.